Alright guys, welcome back to Zero Plays Moimon Mega Fire Red version 4 16-bit winter. Last time we caught two Pokemon. We caught two fire Pokemon. And um Midori leveled up quite a bit. We've got Slug we got Smugma and Cinder here. One's a Slugma, one's a Cyndaquil, and I can't decide which one I want to keep. Let's just take a look here. Smugma's like moves are gonna But then it learns poison stuff too, so it's like. Uh, I can't decide. If I can't decide by the end of this episode, I may have to ask, um, may have to ask outside sources. But anyways, this is Mount Moon. Oh, she wants to battle, right? What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Alrighty then. But in the meantime, we can battle. Physical fairy. Wow, Clefairy, man, they really made, uh, going with the Animu Pop Idol look for the J Jigglypuff and Clefairy. Maybe they're a Pop Idol group, I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna storm in here with some attacks. And double Slap Mist, which I'm okay with, because that move's kind of annoying. Like, Clefairy looks like it would it wouldn't be out of place in Tokyo Mew Mew. By the way, they're make they're making more manga of Tokyo Mew Mew. I'm gonna have to get caught up because I haven't read it in a long time. Yeah, the original creators are coming back to do more of it, so which is pretty exciting. Think about it. Tokyo Mew Mew is such a big uh, it's it's quite a franchise. It's like I'd say it's the second or the second or third biggest. Um, Magical Girls uh, franchise next to Sailor Moon and uh, um, Pretty Cure, at least in this our, this neck of the woods, our neck of the woods here in uh, Canada. All right, what did I run into this time? That's Zubat. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's so adorable. He's like a little goth chick. I love it. It's cute. Not cute enough for me to want to train one, but <laughs> I have standards, okay? God. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Um, I'm a girl. What? Another bee drill. Damn, man. And then that bee drill with those thick thighs that save lives. Oh, Fury Attack. And this one does three damage per hit? Okay, there we go. Thank God. I was like, don't you dare hit five times to get a critical hit. Not today. Alright. There goes Thick Drill. Oh god, that sounds terrible. The Pineco? Yeah, I'll fight it. Actually, this is like good training for whatever Fire Pokemon I was going to use, but... Ah. Can't decide. confused. Ah, you son of a bitch. Really? There we go. That'll finish it off. Alright. I need to space out my training, too, to get my other Pokemon, but I really want to get Midori to evolve. That's why I'm giving her so much training. Is she evolved now? No. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna be surprised. I, I could have swore it was level 15 and 30. She evolved at. Looks like I got one with a special nature that doesn't evolve at the right time, but like, I don't think so. Maybe it's 20 and 30. Maybe that's what it is. It's been so long since I've trained a Ralts. Even though it's one of my favorites from 3rd gen, like, it's been so long. Well, it's it's not really, like, Ralts is my favorite, it's uh, Gardevoir. Which, uh, one of my favorites, I should say. What? Don't sneak up on me! I, I didn't. You... Whatever, Super Nerd Jovan. Is that a Magnemite? Magnemite's pretty cute. Oh, it's got two different colored eyes. 
That's awesome. And the head for Magnemite's backpack. Oh, I love it. Uh, okay. You know what? Smugma's the one that has a fire move. I guess it might be Smugma that I'm going to be training. I don't know. She kind of holds the fire in front. Oh, man. This is <laughs> making me want to do it more now. Oh, God. Wait, isn't it rock type? Shouldn't it be? Okay, please don't be confused. Hmm. Let's see. Um, I don't have really anything else I can fight this except Mizuki. But it'll be super effective against that. Um, hmm. Maybe I got a little Pokemon tank a hit so I can heal it up. You know what? Cinder, you're gonna be the one. I think I've made my decisions. I think I'm gonna pick stick with Smugma. I'm gonna use bag. I'm gonna use, uh... Oh, I don't have any potions left. Shit. That's true. I don't. Oh god, I use Supersonic again. Right, I gotta go buy more potions. That's something I don't normally do in these games. I need to do that more often. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna get Mizuki to try to finish it off. I'm gonna have to heal after this anyways, so... Nice. Alright. Take that. Yeah, Mizuki leveled up. Voltorb. Uh... You know what? Yeah, I'll switch out... Smugma's not gonna be able to handle it, so I'm gonna switch out to... Who needs more training? Uh, Wolfie hasn't gotten training in a while. I'll check out Wolfie. I probably should send Smugma for the, just the experience. <laughs> it's using the Voltorb as like a like a medicine ball or a or a stretching ball. That's funny. And it's a redhead, of course. That's that's pretty adorable too. Let's get my stretches in at the gym. <laughs> Alright. Wolfie took you out. 241. Nice. Wolfie leveled up to level 12, finally. Alright. My Pokemon won't do. Yeah, super nerd, whatever. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, there's a potion right there, of course. Um, I don't think I can teleport in here, can I? Yeah. Didn't think so. So I'll just go back to the... Um, oh, a Zubat. <laughs> Level 10. This will be some nice juicy experience. Actually, that might be okay. Maybe I won't go back to the Pokemon Center just yet. I think I'm gonna go with Smugma. If you guys felt I haven't made the right decision, you're you're welcome to leave me a comment. Um, if you guys prefer for me to train up Cinder, let me know. Though, I'm feeling Smugma. Yeah, take that. Because I've never trained a Slugma. I kind of this is a great opportunity. It's pretty cute, and it looks like a fiery redhead. All right, got a rare candy. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, let's do this. All right. You need to go through this cave to get through. Yeah, thanks. Tips. All right. Send another spin rack. I really can't remember what level Midori evolves at now. I need to figure that out. Ladybug? You know what, I'll switch. Maybe, uh... Um... Smugma can get a chance to get, uh... 
some, some training in. You know, it's Comet Punch. Oh, at least it's a. Uh, only hit twice, please. Come on, don't hit anymore. Come on, stop. Stop. Hit five times. All right. Super effective. Lady Bus hurt by its burn. Okay. Well, looks like I'm using that potion I just got. <laughs> on Mugma. There we go. Alright. I got lucky with that with it getting burned. Ah, shit, I don't want to go to my bag. Smugma's like my my fiery redhead Cinderay girl. It's like, it's not like I'd like you or anything, but Baka. Yeah, there we go. Her bite's burn. Nicely done, Smugma. You're gonna get some deserved experience that you're gonna need. Level 8, aw oh, yeah. Alright, Butterfree. Yeah. Fusion will probably kill it in one hit, but I'll try. Ugh. Close. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out now. Um You know what? Pikachu, you can take this out. Pikachu's gonna need some more experience here soon. Thunder Shock. Take that butter free. Man, they're just obsessed with that confusion attack. Won't use anything else. Fuck. I mean, I, I'm not surprised. That's probably the most common move I would use with butter free. So. There we go. Nice, and Pikachu's level 12 as well. My my party's growing up. And Smugma got some too. Nice. I lost. You sure did, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back and heal my Pokemon now. Well, I don't have to, but like, I want to, because I want to make sure that they can get some more training in here. I don't have to do this, but I figure why not. It's a Zubat. It'll die in one hit. Easy experience for Midori. I really should switch but switch the two of them out and have Pikachu go out front because Pikachu's gonna be the one that's gonna need to get experience because I got that I got Misty coming up. But yeah. I figure this will take me to the end of the part here. Just getting back to the Pokemon Center. All these wild battles. I could technically use a repel, but I'm like, eh. Might as well make my way back, get the experience. That's Paris? She has a Chinese dress and everything, oh my god! I kind of love her. I have a thing for Chinese dresses. I don't know what it is, I just find them very... First of all, they're very elegant, and I find them very cute. So... Mm. And she <laughs> she's holding like, like she's like she's like at a Chinese restaurant be like, you want some mushrooms? <laughs> um Uh Hmm. Maybe I'll try to catch a Paris. <clears throat> if I do that, I'm gonna switch out to Gachu because I want to use Thunder. Oh, of course, and it stuns me. I've tried training a Paris in a couple of other games and it didn't work out. Because Parasect isn't all that great. Well, Parasect's actually not bad. It's Paris that's the problem. Well, why would you use Poison Powder after using Stun Spore? That doesn't make any sense to me, dude. Alright, so... I'm gonna go for the attack that I know is not gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, I don't have Quick Attack anyways. Hmm. This is going to drag the part out if I do this. Um, ah, fuck it. I want to make sure I don't kill this thing. Pikachu's probably going to die before I do this, actually. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll see. If it keeps using scratch, it will. Hmm. Probably low enough. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Pokeball. What am I gonna name this? I guess there's an easy way I could probably do something and just see. Um. Hmm. Let's see. It is a female as well, so. Works out. Okay, so let's put. Hmm. Shades over around. Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna I'm using Google Translate to do this, but. Actually, I kind of like the way that sounds. So, the Chinese word for mushroom is mogu. Or mogu. So I'm going to call her... Mogu Bean. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I think that's going to be probably the transfer for sender. Because, uh, yeah, guys, just not feeling doing a Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's one of my favorite Pokemons, but it's not that cute. Though, I might regret saying that, because its later forms are probably... look different. But anyways, let's deposit, uh... Let's deposit, uh, Cyndaquil. Let's, uh, and let's withdraw... Mogu mean. Did I make a bad decision? I guess we'll find out uh, if I did or not later on. <clears throat> I'm like, up. But yeah. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this part. So next time on Zero Plays, Moemon Mega Fire Red version for 16-bit Winter, uh, we'll continue going through Mount Moon. See you then. Hey guys, when you're finished with this video, go over and check my new review on Pantsu Hunter on my review channel. If you recall, I was streaming that game to get footage for it, so now the review's done, so if you get a chance, go check it out. I would really appreciate it. Thanks.